Last two games been really strong, efficient, and getting into a rhythm with. There's an old saying, heavy is the head that wears the crown. And in the case of Nikola Jokic, no true words have ever been spoken. He is a two-time league MVP, an NBA champion, and ranks second in efficiency rating. But the Denver Nuggets are on a three-game losing streak. We'll take a look at their December 6th loss to the Los Angeles Clippers. The Denver Nuggets came into the game on Wednesday, December 6th. Plays it in 35 for Reggie Jackson. Having one Breaks three to the rack, and that'll do it. 18 and November 27th win against the same Clippers. There are three of the Denver starters. And that practice time, you don't get a lot. As well as getting on December 6th, the Denver Ball Nuggets well, don't get a point lead in the first quarter. Michael Porter Jr. and Aaron Gordon combined for Westbrook 7 of 7 in. minutes. What a great pass. Meanwhile, KCP and Jamal Murray went 2 for 4 Porter in the quarter. Nikola Jokic led the team in assists and rebounds, 4 apiece, but he shot inefficiently, going 3 for 8 from the field. When looking at his shot selection, there's nothing out of the ordinary. These were shots that he usually makes. But he did very well on defense, holding the Clippers' bigs to 1 of 5 shooting from the field. In the second quarter, the Denver Nuggets had problems rotating on the Clippers big men whenever they rolled out to hit a three-pointer. Daniel Tice hit two of two three-pointers from the top of the key. Norman Powell made some vicious runs at the rim. The Clippers came out of the quarter with 11 free throws compared to Denver's five, which shows that the Denver Nuggets were not as aggressive in the second quarter as they were in the first. Unfortunately for Denver, Nikola Jokic's poor shooting continued on into the second quarter as he went 2 for 7. The rest of the team did not do much better. Jamal Murray went 2 for 5. KCP, MPJ, and Aaron Gordon did not score a field goal in the entire quarter. Christian Brown scored 4 points in the second frame. So that by halftime, Denver was down by 4 points. So, since they decided to go with it. Burn with a great again, if you look at pass that time in the alley oop, DeAndre Jordan, the left handed dunk. Easily. The defending champions took the lead in the third quarter with exceptional play from Jamal Murray. You going get it. it would be a 7 3 record in their last 10. Aaron Nine Gordon two. went 0 for 2 in this quarter, but he played excellent defense. Quarter score spot on three. Murray. Murray. Step back two is good over Zubaz and a timeout by Ty Tun. While Leonard and Porter Neither did Westbrook just seven minutes for Westbrook. George. They were only up by three. Uh, George points. gets past but Jokic their defense and, and their throws it down. Were very Joker's inefficiency continued in this quarter as he went three for ten from the field. He missed all three three pointers that he took in the frame, and he ended up scoring six points for the quarter. The Nuggets had. A very poor final frame. As they, as a team, they went eight for 26, 31 percent from the field, two for eight from the three-point range, which would be 25 percent from the team. He not only took and made two free throws. On the Clippers' side, they went 10 for 20 from the field. The Clippers went three for five on three-point shots, and they made nine of 10 free throws. Shot clock down to five. Hard, good pass. Eight, eight, the lane. Eight, eight, Another eight, assist for Hart. They dominated the board, securing 13 defensive rebounds, limiting the number of offensive rebounds the Denver Nuggets could corral. Denver ended up with three offensive rebounds. While in the first quarter, they've made three three pointers in 17 tries since. Jokic blocked by Zubats out of bounds. Denver ball with just a second. Last two games been really strong, efficient, and Jokic shot only one for seven from the field, which is a 14% rate. He did not make a three-pointer, and as mentioned, he was the only one who took free throws, and he made both. Joker had four rebounds and two assists for the quarter. Jamal Murray went three for five, and and the rest of the team went four for 13. Before going forward, I want to establish that the Denver Nuggets are in the similar situation as they were last season. Last season on December the 10, on December the 8th, they were at 15 and 10. This season, they sit at 14 and 9. 
this season they have one win and three losses coming into December the 8th and you will see that is the same for their record last season. And that's the one area this year that hasn't been as good as previous. Just 30% from out there, career low. Kershaw, 38.3% from three last season, and currently he is shooting only 304 from distance. He's actually a player who heats up as the season goes along. I downloaded, I viewed a couple of games that, I looked at a couple of games in which he played last season to compare to this season. And if you look, he was actually having a bad stretch at about the same time last year. At the same time last year, he went 5 for 16. This year, he is 4 for 16 in the four-game stretch leading to December 8th. So if historical performances is a reflection of future performances, he should be heating up in the second half of the season. Jokic hit a three from the right wing, and now gets one from the left. He has six of Offensive rebounds that Denver got looks identical to that of the Clippers. The problem was converting on those offensive rebounds. There was a sequence in the beginning of the game where DeAndre Jordan grabbed three point-blank offensive rebounds and could not convert on even one of them. Also, Joker got five offensive rebounds of his own, which led to six points. In the fourth quarter, the Denver Nuggets took 26 shots and made only eight. They were only able to corral three offensive rebounds and six defensive rebounds Rebounds total in the quarter. Meanwhile, the Clippers took 20 shots and made 10 and were able to corral four offensive rebounds while securing 13 defensive rebounds, limiting Denver's opportunities for offensive rebounds and second chance points. The Clippers threw multiple defenders at Nikola Jokic throughout the game. If Zubac is a physical defender and a post presence on offense, meanwhile, Daniel Thais uses his lateral movement to contain his opponent while, and is primarily a jump shooter on offense. While Nida could stop Joker, there's always an adjustment period to adjust to the different defender that's guarding you, and the rest of the team has to adjust also. And even though the Denver Nuggets did very well in adjusting, the inertia took longer than it should have. With Joel and B taking on the honor, Jokic was the runner-up, and they became the first. It was outstanding watching Jamal Murray return, but the offense went from looking like this to looking like this. Notice on both plays, the right side of the court is overloaded by. Pretty much the entire team, except for Jamal Murray and his defender. This pace forces the team to stand around and watch. In the case, in this video, look at Michael Porter Jr. He's wondering where to go. This causes clock management issues, which forces the team into some rushed shots when this was never the issue in the past. I'm pretty sure this is something that will sort itself out. After all, these are defending champions and they are professionals. But in the game on December 6th, it was an issue. On the whole, I don't think it's anything to be worried about. After all, Denver is still the defending champions. They also have the home court advantage of playing at altitude. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.